Hey guys, welcome back. Today we are going to see how we can install Windows 11 on VirtualBox. If you didn't know, this is a virtual machine simulation software. If you already tried to install Windows 11 and it didn't work, don't worry, there are some settings that you need to set and I'll show you how to do it. First, I'm going to left click on new over here and enter the details, the name. I'm going to name it Windows 11. I will set the folder to the D drive because that's where I have more space, as you can see. And also add a folder named VM for ease. We need to select the ISO image. We have it on the desktop over here. This is from the 12th of January, uh, 2023, just for your information. And we notice that the virtual machine detects that it is a Windows installation disk. I'm going to left click on Next. Here is where we need to be careful. We need to set at least 4 gigabytes of RAM in match to the Windows 11 system requirements and two CPUs. And we also need to enable EFI over here. I'm going to left click on Next. In regards to the hard disk size, we need at least 64 gigabytes. And you can also pre-allocate the full size, but I'm not sure if that's a good idea. And then left click on Next. Right now it's finished. In regards to this window, I'm going to left click on Finish to close it, but we need to configure the display as well in order to install Windows 11. We need to set it to at least 128 megabytes. If you can do it more, that's great. And we need to select the graphics controller over here to VBOX SVGA and enable 3D acceleration. I know it says that the settings are invalid, but that's how, how it worked. I'm going to left click on OK. And right now we can start installing Windows 11 by pressing the Start button over here at the top. And the virtual machine will load. I paused the video for a moment to skip the loading time, but I missed the Windows 11 uh, setup where it, when it says press any key to continue. So I'm just going to type in exit over here in the UFI uh, interactive shell and press enter. And now it takes us to this window. I'm going to go to boot manager and just select the virtual CD-ROM and press enter. And now I'm going to press any key. On this window, just left select the the options that you want over here and left click on next when you're ready on this window don't press on install now but instead press the shift and f10 key on your keyboard to open the command prompt if this doesn't work like it happens in my case try to also press the fn the function key if you are on a laptop that might be a problem and we can see the command prompt opens. I'm going to type in reg edit and press enter. And the registry editor will open. Over here, we need to go to HK local machine and expand it. Then go to system. And now to setup over here, right click on setup and create a new key. Name it lab config like that, and inside the lab config key, right click and create a new D word and name it to bypass TPM check like that, and change its value to one. We need to create two additional keys, one with the name bypass RAM check, 
and also change its value to 1. And lastly, bypass secure boot check and name it to and change its value to 1. Now we can check that everything is okay over here and it looks fine. The names are okay and the values are all set to 1. Now we can close this window and type exit in command prompt and press enter and left click on install now. From this point on Windows should work just fine. Just install it like you would install it normally. Okay guys, that's it. We can see the Windows setup right now. I hope this helps you solve your problem. There's also an article on blogs.oracle.com. If you look for Windows 11 VirtualBox on your search engine, you should be able to find it. There, that's the article I consulted to fix this problem. Thank you for watching our video. Subscribe for future tips.